On Monday, March 12, 2007, an intern working for Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge at the front desk answered a very disturbing phone call from a man on the other end saying he was going to tie a bear to a tree and shoot it if we could not rescue him. The very next day, Turpentine Creek staff drove over five and a half hours to Paragold, Arkansas and stayed in a hotel overnight. On the following morning, March 14th, the rescue began. Like most of the animals rescued by Turpentine Creek, the conditions in which they were living are inadequate. I will let the video and the photos tell the story because they do the best. A local TV station's camera crew met us at the hotel early in the morning and we proceeded to follow the man to his home where the bear was being kept. Yeah. Back in. yeah. Hey Joe. He's just a baby. How'd you say he is? He'll be three in April. Three years old? Joe's previous owner is speaking here of why he got the bear. Well, when he got old enough where he wanted to play a little bit, he got scared of him. Mm -hmm. Didn't, wasn't teaching no manners or nothing. He got scared of him and, and uh, wanted to get rid of him, so we took him. So he originated from Missouri Animal Auction and then... Well, he come out of Minnesota. Oh, okay. That's where he come from. That guy from Minnesota brought him to Missouri. Uh -huh. to exotic animal size. Hmm. And that's what Southern Feller bought him. I feed him about every other day, and I give him about uh, two gallons. I just got a two gallon as well. We just always feed him dog food. Feed him meat. So that guy from Minnesota told me, he said, don't feed him no more meat. He won't go to that ditch. It's like that neighbor right up there was cold all the time. Over. We had him out there on the road. Somebody stopped was talking to us and I had my boy's leash. And Joe wanted to go. Of course, Joe wouldn't talk about that far. Man. He wanted to go off the ditch. Boy wouldn't let him go. The second time he pulled him back, he come after him. Thought he might take the boy. Well, he, you know, so boy kicked him in the head every time he got up there close to him. About the fourth time, he decided he didn't want more, and he just like, straightened up. Yeah, he just straightened up then, but they grew up for a call sheriff's department. Here in Paragold, Arkansas, we got Joe Bear here. He's three years old. We're going to load him up in the trailer. The trailer won't get to where the door is, so what we're going to do is back up to the fence. Cut a hole in the side of the fence, and uh, hopefully with um, m not much time, he'll jump right in the trailer. Here we are back in the trailer up to the cage, which at this end of it doesn't have a door. We'll get the bolt cutters and um, cut a door into the cage, but in the meantime, we need to make sure the bear is not um, able to bite us. 
So his previous owner stands at the other end of the cage and feeds them candy and marshmallows and whatever it takes to keep him over at that end of the cage while the staff of Turpentine Creek uh, cut the hole in the cage. Now at this time, the hole is cut in the cage and we're going to do our best to get the bear to jump in the trailer. He won't fight about everything then, yeah, you know, yeah. but every time he wanted to fight, we we whoop him so he got to where he just he didn't want to fight about it. Tell us a little bit about how you got old Joe over there. Well, there's a local businessman here in Paragol. He he got him and when he was just a baby and decided he didn't want him, so as to as we wanted him, so we took him. Why did you take him? Oh, I just thought it'd be neat to have him. You told me a little bit about <clears throat> when you got him, you thought there was an outside chance you might make him go rug or something. Tell me kind of how did that all play out with him? Oh, well, I did. I, I thought it'd be something that I could do a lot with and, you know, really uh, have fun with. But then, you know, when he wasn't what I thought he'd be, you know, I thought, well, I'll just make a rug out of him when he gets bigger, but, you know, we kind of got attached to him. How tough is it for you today, kind of having to, to let Joe go? Uh, it's tougher than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you know, I'm more attached to him than I thought I was. You know, it's, it's not a thing that we didn't want him, you know, we was forced, forced to get rid of him, you know, because, you know, neighbors didn't have nothing better to do with their time but complain about other things. Do you feel like though he's probably going to a better place? Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like he'll. I feel like he'll probably get more of what he needs. After an uneventful five and a half hour trip home, we unload Joe Bear into our quarantine cage at Turpentine Creek. What's he doing? People get exotic animals of all sizes all the time, most of them with the best intentions. However, as evident in this video, the intentions are not always upheld. This animal, Joe, is an incredible animal that needs a good home and a caring environment. Help us to continue to help them. I feed him about every other day. We whoop him. Just make a rug out of him. Feel me? Don't ever let him want to fight. Or kick him in the head. Or get rid of him. I feel like he'll probably get more of what he needs. The highly trained staff at Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge will ensure that Joe gets a proper diet with the proper nutrition. The noble mission of Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge requires that you take action. Visit www.turpentinecreek.org today.